Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda back with another custom My Little Pony tutorial. This is going to be the custom Nemo Pony. I'm here with this adorable little Nemo swiggle fish and Applejack. Applejack's going to be transformed today into Nemo. I'm starting off by removing her cutie mark with a little bit of acetone and I'm going to leave her eyes intact. Next, I need to remove the head so that way I can remove all her hair. To do that, you just twist the neck to the side until it pops right off, just like that. And now I need to remove all her hair since she is going to get brand new hair. I'm using some big scissors and I'm going to cut off as much of the hair as I possibly can. Then I'm going to grab these teeny tiny scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp. And it'll look like this, but the roots are still inside the head and we need to remove those. To get to them, you're going to have to remove the neck plug. Sometimes you can remove the neck plug by just pulling it out with some pliers or tweezers. And oh, and this one's actually working. It's coming out. So this is going to be an easier one. If your neck plug does not come out like this by tugging on it, you'll have to cut it out with an X-Acto knife. So... The neck plug's completely out. You can see all of the hair roots and glue on the inside. So just take some pliers or tweezers, stick them inside the head and pull out all of that hair. And she's gonna end up being completely bald and ready for customization. <laughs> Next, it is time to remove the tail. And you have two options here. You can remove the neck plug, take out the tail and replace it with another hair tail, or you can cut off the tail like this, push the rest of it into the body. I'm gonna use some scissors here, and then remove the plastic fishtail from the Nemo toy and glue it directly to the body. So it's up to you. Do you want your pony to have more of a fish body or more of the classic pony look? I think I'm going to go with more of a fish body. So I just push the tail inside and I'm going to leave it like that. Next, I'm going to use my pliers to try and get about half of the neck plug reattached to the other neck plug. This is probably one of the hardest parts about rerouting a pony. So once you get it about halfway down using your tweezers or pliers, you can just push the rest down with your fingers. And now there's no tail, there's no hair. It's time to get started. I have this gorgeous shade of orange nail polish by Sally Hansen called Desert Poppy. I thought it was a great match to the Nemo toy that I have here. So I'm going to take this nail polish and completely cover the head and the body. I am not going to be painting in the eyes on this particular custom. I'm starting off by outlining them with the nail polish and then I'll go in and completely fill in the rest of the head. I personally like to save the original eyes because for me it's difficult to go in and try to draw them from scratch but if you're good at that and that's what you like to do then you can always cover up the eyes but I would recommend removing them with acetone first since orange is a light color and if you're good at drawing eyes I am so jealous I'm gonna have to just practice some more I guess and this nail polish it's going on patchy but it's pretty pretty thick so I'm going to go over this with one more coat and with two coats I should get complete coverage and I did. This is a bright orange. I really like it. It's time to start on the eyes. Now Nemo has very very large eyes so what I'm doing is taking a little bit of white acrylic paint here and I am expanding the size of the whites on the original eyes. So I'm probably making making them about two times bigger than they originally were. So I'm making Applejack's eyes a lot larger while still keeping the original My Little Pony shape. Now I have the same orange nail polish that I use for the body. And I am completely filling in all the eye that used to be green. 
So Nemo has orange eyes, so the custom's gonna have orange eyes as well. To give the eyes a little bit more depth, I'm adding some bright red to the top of the eye and some darker orange down in the bottom corner to give the eyes an ombre effect and it looks really nice like this but if you want to leave them straight orange you always can I've gone in with some black acrylic paint and cleaned up the edges there now I'm just going to give her some subtle eyelashes and outline just the top half of the eye And the eyes are done and they look really, really nice. Next up is the stripe on Nemo's head. Using white acrylic paint, I'm going to go in and just draw a rough outline of a line that's going to be all the way across the head. So from the bottom of the chin all the way across down to the other side of the chin and this is going on very thin so i'm gonna let it dry and then put a second coat of white paint and it looks really good it's nice and thick here switched over to some black acrylic paint and a very very fine paintbrush i'm going to outline the white stripe just like nemo's stripes and this looks so neat. You can really tell that it's a clownfish. This is so cool. And be very careful when you're doing this part. You don't want to make too much of a mess with the black. And here's the completed head. It looks so cool. Now to seal in my work, I'm going to cover the entire head with one coat of clear nail polish. And once that has completely dried, it's time for hair. I have three colors here. Marmalade, which is a darker orange color. Diamond, which is a shiny white. And Black Magic, which is just solid black. I've cut the strands of hair into one quarter length of the original strand and I'm going to rehair with my tool that I got from dollyhair.com. It's basically a pronged needle. You wrap a little bit of hair around your finger and you catch all of it right in between the prongs just like this and the prongs are sharp so you take your head find out which hole you want to put that hair in and then you press right in what i'm doing is i'm just using four black hair plugs i'm gonna use one right where the stripe is on both sides i'll fill in between the black with white so that way her hair has the stripe just like her body has i thought that this is such a cool look and then the rest of the head i'm gonna fill in with that orange marmalade color and you're just gonna repeat this process over and over again until all the hair is in once you do have all the hair in, you're going to have to secure it because if you don't, the hair will fall out when you're playing with it or when you're pulling on it. All the hair's in. It looks so cool. If you look inside, you can see all the ends of the hair on the inside and we're going to secure those with some no sew glue pouring it directly into the head and then i'm going to use a q-tip to evenly distribute the glue once this is done the head is completely customized i'm going to put it to the side and start working on the body using that same gorgeous orange sally hansen nail polish i'm going to completely cover the body in two coats of paint and then let that completely dry and once the nail polish has completely dried it's time to go in with some white acrylic paint and draw in nemo's stripes he has one stripe uh, across his midsection and then one closer to his tail i'm gonna try and recreate those as best as possible on the pony so the midsection stripe has a slight wave to it so you can see I've drawn that in here. And of course this paint is very thin and patchy. So once it's dried, I'll go back in and put in a second coat to get a solid opaque white. So there goes the midsection stripe. And I've decided that for the back stripe that's near his tail, I'm going to just completely cover 
the tail hole with the stripe. So you'll see I'm going to completely fill in the back here. And I've also decided to put some stripes on the front legs. Since there's not too much decoration on this body, I didn't want it to look super simple or boring. So I thought maybe I would add these. I did make a Dory custom and I also added these on Dory. So just giving a little bit of detail to the front legs here. I've completely covered this with two coats of white acrylic paint. I'm switching back to black paint and a very thin paintbrush and I'm going to outline all of those stripes in black just like Nemo has. And you might have noticed that the neck plug has been removed from the body and that's because I have decided to put an actual hair tail instead of the plastic fish tail like I was originally planning. Um, I was looking at the Dory custom and I thought she looked really cool with the tail so I changed my mind. Unfortunately, Nemo has lost his fin. Sorry, Nemo. I'm going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue to attach the fins directly to the pony's body. And you can tell that there's a slight difference in color between the fins and the body. So I'm going to completely cover them with two coats of nail polish. And then I will go over the edges of the fins with some black acrylic paint. So that way they match Nemo. And this looks so cool. I'm going to completely cover the entire body with a coat of clear nail polish to seal all of the work in. Once it's dried, it's time for the tail. I have some orange hair with just a thin white stripe of hair. I've twist tied the bunch of hair together. I pushed the twist tie through the tail hole and now I'm going to use my pliers to pull the hair about halfway through. You don't want to pull that hair all the way through or you're going to have to do this again. So here it is, halfway pulled through. I'm going to remove the twist tie here and replace it with a zip tie. And I'm going to secure that zip tie very, very tightly so none of this tail hair comes loose when you're playing with it. So make sure it's super duper tight and then grab some scissors and then just cut off what's left of the twist tie. Now you can pull that tail straight through and just like that, Nemo has his tail and it's super long so I am going to trim that down a little bit. The last thing that needs to be done to this custom is attaching the head back to the body. So I'm using a little bit of Gorilla Glue here and I'm going to reattach the plug to the body. I'll let that dry and then glue the head onto the body. And here's a look at the finished fins. They came out so cool, two different sizes, just like Nemo has. And here's the completely finished product. She used to be Applejack, but now she's Nemo. This custom came out so great. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you have an idea for my next custom, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I know that your custom's gonna come out super awesome. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye. You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for this channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat, Manda Panda TC. Want to mail something? You can. Send it to Manda Panda PO Box 65105, San Antonio, Texas 78265.